Okay, so I ran into a bit of an issue. I, my string didn't hold, and my hose is about ready to fall down in the well. So hopefully, I can with this pair of pliers, I can gently grab the end down that dark hole and pull it out. Hopefully. <sighs> that was a close one. That could have been messy. Sit there, pliers. Oh, buddy. It's dark up here in the silo. I guess you guys won't see much as I throw silage down. Take a look down the chute. Way down there. That's bright. There's a black wheelbarrow at the bottom. I'm sure you guys have seen that in our other feeding videos. But this is a great way to warm up. So I'm going to get forking. Sorry you guys can't see much. I'm using my new phone. Uh, we'll see how the video turns out. Whee! Down the chute. Um, yeah, the GoPro isn't here at the farm right now. So, we're trying my phone out. Okay, so I'm busy playing with settings on my phone. Um, but yeah, you can see how dark it is. Um, I'm waiting on Dad. He told me to stop throwing silage down. I got a pile ready by the door. You can kind of see how I've been cutting it off um, over there. Now, if we look right next to me, I'm just sitting down on the door. Ooh, you can kind of see it's sticking. It's frozen to the wall. And that's how long it's been frozen. Um, it usually takes us two or three days to cut off a layer. And I probably cut six, at least six, more than six, probably eight inches deep. I got the power right to the door and fill the wheelbarrow up really quick, just waiting to shovel it out so I'm not throwing. Dad's probably working on the water. I bet that's what it is. I've been struggling with the water all morning. I hear a wheelbarrow coming in, getting ready to kick this down. When it's by the door, I just kick it down. Fresh wheelbarrow. Okay, it's go time. Let's see how this works out. And really, I just literally kick it down. Now it's easier when I'm not below the door so much. Because I will dig down to get to a door to make it easier to get it out. It's a good full body workout getting the silage down. Way up there. What? <sighs> okay, that's the last little burla silage. You're happy eating. Yeah, we still haven't gotten that hose thawed out. Usually the well's warm enough, 50 degrees or so, it'll thaw eventually. Mmm, silage. Aren't you happy eating? Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Okay. Is there any grain down here? Yeah. This is not heavy. Dad's taking the hose back over to put in the well. Um, hey, you see the wet spot there? There's a couple small pinholes in the hose. And obviously, you know, we've got water to there. So hopefully, that's enough to keep it flowing and not to freeze back up. 
while we milked the last, I don't know, four or five foot of hose. That was at the very end. Eventually they'll get water. There's all the What's left to scoop out? What? It's about 12% uh, protein on top of the cellulose. A little extra energy and protein for when it's freezing cold right now. Uh, we're still waiting on the water to fall. We're getting there. Good morning, Shiloh. Find anything good this morning? Any cats to chase? Any mice? Rats? No, I guess not. He's on the prowl. As soon as we get the water going, we can go see the pigs, take the water out to the chickens. Oh, and pump out, uh, say, 400 gallons of water. Maybe not that much. Maybe only two or three to fill a water trough. It's all icy. Another water trough and more water troughs and bathtubs. Okay, that's it. I'm cheating. Getting some water from the house. Look out the window and the brightness. The calf fetches. There's the chickens. And there's the water I need to fill. About one water full. Screw the lid on and deliver it to the chickens who are anxiously awaiting water. Cows are mostly taken care of. We're still waiting on that hose to thaw out, unfortunately. I guess we'll pull the cap down here at the bottom. And check to see. Yep, we sealed. It's going to start bubbling out. It's a hard thing to do in the winter. You got to watch out unscrewing these when they're frozen. There's the little ice crystals will scar or will cut the o ring up top. That one, I think, has trouble um, sealing sometimes. <laughs> so, everybody, watch the chickens follow me. There you go, girls. Water, which you've been wanting. Even on frozen mornings, you want cold water. And grain. And your little flying monkey. Uh, Dad's got the other bucket filling for him. I mean, I love snow and I love winter, but man, when the hose freezes, that's annoying. This, these yeah, are sprinklers. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have water. A little bit, slowly. It's been fairly decent. Now, the pigs invariably don't like their shelter. I got them a couple of buckets of water finally. That, uh, that water has been frozen for a while. It's probably a solid block of ice. It's worthless. The bigs, yep, they dump their shelter. And they've been in their foxhole. They may maybe leave for a few minutes and then come out and see what's happening with the rest of the world. Are you over some water, big guy? There you go. Unfortunately, we've tried putting water troughs out here. And it's a little frozen. We'd almost have to bury it. And I figured the ground's frozen enough. Yeah. I've just been 
filling up a puddle for them. And hopefully they get their day's worth of water before it freezes at night. There you go, 10 gallons of water. Everybody's up. Okay. That's the girl right there. She's a little bit more maroon than the rest in the red color. Yeah. It's not the best watering system, guys. But the run, it's going to be hard to get electric out here to keep that thing thawed, and then the nipple would still probably freeze. Yep, they run back to their foxhole dugout, and they've been digging in there. And they're still finding some corn we threw out. Still digging. If we come down in here. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Mmm, your ears. You feel the dirt, and it's almost warm. Like, you think it's April. You feel the dirt, and it's it's warmer than the water, so it's probably maybe 60 degrees or so. It's pleasant to the touch. Maybe not that warm. I'm not exaggerating. But they've done a good job of keeping in there. They're working together as a team. They still like each other, which is good. They've got feed. Mmm, plastic. Don't eat that. Eat the, eat the grain. Close and personal. Don't eat my phone. What are you doing? Hey, wipe my pants. Uh, they still got some grain. It's getting a little low. There's still got plenty of grain for them for a few more days at least. Well, so that's feeding. We got the water running in the barn. And it's snowy here on Bain Farm. So, this so is hit right in about time for New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas, or, uh, well, whatever holiday you celebrate. Maybe it's Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. So, Happy New Year, and uh, maybe we'll see you on a warmer day, or if we're still out harvesting corn, we're still out harvesting corn. So this video is a little out of line. Well, goodbye.